We try really hard to understand what the customer needs and what we might be able to do to, to help with that need. We really believe in customer service. I'm Randy Walters. I'm with Technical Die Casting. We're a contract die caster. Been in business since 1975. We make electric motor end bells. We make a lot of those different models. This is a little golf cup that we make for a company in Minnesota. Believe it or not, these wear out after a number of uses coming in and out with the flag and the sand on the greens. The hole inside here will elongate and once the flag looks like that, everybody wants fresh. We make about 100000 a year of those. We quote to order, price per release. Uh, we don't have a typical run or a uh, minimum run. A lot of companies uh, ask that question, what's your minimum run? We're a custom die caster and we quote per release. Ten years ago we weren't quoting too many castings coming back from offshore. Everything was going to low-cost countries. Here in recent years a lot of the cost advantage has disappeared. It seems to be the consensus. About 20 percent of what our company quotes now is from uh, customers looking or investigating, reshoring, bringing stuff back to the United States from uh, the low-cost countries. And also the, the low-cost country workers are uh, getting and demanding higher wages, so the labor savings has dissipated significantly. We have some pretty flexible stocking programs. We can stock two weeks of inventory, three weeks, whatever the customer wants, we build around, service the customer the best we can. And in a perfect world, we like to be involved in the, the upfront designing, uh, get the die casters input. There's a lot of things that are uh, good to keep in mind as you design your product. A lot of times there's fit, function, cosmetics, and oftentimes the customers will go ahead and design around those three things and leave out the most important part, which is the process that you're going to use to manufacture the castings, which is the process, die casting. So we like to have our input there as to what will work and what won't work. Die casting is typically a high volume uh, process. The, the investment in tooling is generally pretty significant. Oftentimes a, what I call billet project or a sand casting or something of that nature as the product develops, it, the, the volumes will reach a level where it makes die casting affordable, specifically tooling up for the die casting. This is a pinion cover for a housing, for a differential, for a major manufacturer of ATVs. And you can see there's input shaft, fill holes, ejector pin marks, etc. There's a steel mold that's made out of a hot work tool steel. Typically it's H13. We have in-house capabilities for tooling, maintenance, repairs, revisions, those types of things. We invite you to go to our website, take a look at our capabilities, uh, send us an RFQ and, and we take a look. We welcome the opportunity to earn your business. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com. Mm -hmm.